Hi guys, welcome to Ahema School. Today I'm going to show you how to do the synthetic division. It's really, really easy. Remember, on the top you have the numerator and on the bottom you have the denominator. The first step is to figure it out what is, you know, how are you going to divide this. So grab the denominator and make it equals to zero. Okay, and then solve for x. In this case, x is equals to 1. That is the number that you're going to be putting right here. Then the second step is to see the coefficients that you have on the numerator. Well, look at this. Do you have a 2? You have a 11? You have a negative 7? And then you have a negative 6. Now here I'm going to put 2, 11, negative 7, and negative 6. In this case, you can see here that you have a continuation. You have an order. You have x cubed, then you have x squared, then you have the x, and then you have a constant. I don't have to fill in anything. The next exercise I'm going to do, I'm going to put it where you have to fill in with zeros. Well, in this case, I'm almost set. So let's start. The first step is to lower the first coefficient, in this case, is 2. And look what you're going to do right now. You're going to do 1 times 2 is 2. You put it right here. And then you do the operation. 11 plus 2 is equals to 13. Then you're going to do 1 times 13 is just 13. Negative 7 plus 13 is going to be equals to 6. Okay. Finally, 1 times 6 is going to be 6. Negative 6 plus 6 is just 0. The last number is going to be the remainder. In this case, my remainder is 0. That means x minus 1 or x equals 1 is actually a factor on this division. My final answer is going to be the following. You can see here that my terms and my coefficients are 2, 13, and 6. Don't forget, we started with a cube function. The degree of the function is actually equals to 3 at the beginning. But any time you do the synthetic division, you're actually lower the degree of the, uh, of the expression. So in my case, and now instead of being a cube, it's going to be a quadratic. So my final answer is going to be 2, which I grab from here, x squared plus 13x plus 6. And that's it. That's how you do the synthetic division. Let's go ahead and do another exercise with, um, you know, like putting some spaces. So let's see. Let's say that you have here x cubed minus 1 over x plus 1. All right, don't forget this is the numerator, and then this guy on the bottom is the denominator. So here I do x plus 1 equals to 0, x equals to negative 1. So I do my line, and then I put a negative 1 right here. Now you can see here that I don't have the x squared, x, and all that. And how do I do this? Well, look at this. You're going to have your x cubed, the coefficient is just 1. So this is x cubed. I don't have the square, so I'm going to put a 0. I don't have the x, so I'm going to put another 0. But then I do have the constant, which is going to be negative 1. Now we can go ahead and do our synthetic division. Remember, the first step is to lower the first number, which is just 1. And then I go negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. 0 minus 1 is just negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 1 is just 1. 0 plus 1 is just 1. Negative 1 times 1 is equals to negative 1. Finally, negative 1 minus 1 is equals to negative 2. The remainder here is going to be 2. Since, I'm sorry, negative 2. Since the remainder is no 0, that means that x equals negative 1 is not a factor of x cubed minus 1. My final answer is going to be, you see here that I had a cube, so now my answer is going to be a quadratic. So it's going to be x squared, because I have a 1, minus x, because I have a negative 1, plus 1, then you do the remainder, which you're going to put right here, plus, you always put a plus, and then negative 2 over x plus 1. The reason why I didn't do this before is because the remainder was 0. But if your remainder is not 0, you have to put your answer, then you put a plus, on the top you put the remainder, and on the bottom you just put your denominator. Let's just do 
one more exercise. So let's see. And let's go ahead and just do x cubed plus 3x minus 6. And I'm going to divide all that by, uh, let's see, x plus 2. Okay, the first step is that I do x plus 2 equals 0, x equals negative 2, and that is the number that I'm going to go ahead and put right here. Okay, so let's do it. Here I have a 1. Did you see how I do have a sequence here? 2, 1, and then the constant. So 1, 3, negative 6, and then... I lower the first number and I go negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. 3 minus 2 is just 1. Negative 2 times 1 is going to be negative 2. My final number is always the remainder. In this case, it's negative 8. Remember, I have a quadratic function. So the degree now is going to be, remember, if the degree before was uh, 2, now I'm going to have a, uh, the degree is going to be actually 1. So this is going to be x plus 1, then since, the, since my remainder is not 0, plus negative 8 over x plus 2. And that is the proper way of writing your answer. And that's it. Please don't forget to watch our other videos. Also remember, you can Skype with us. And also, thanks so much for learning.